Hello, thanks for stopping by StampsToDieFor.com. My name is Patsy Wagoner and I'm excited to share with you today another technique how-to. Hope you enjoy! Let's get started with this week's technique how-to, the One Sheet Wonder. This is one of the most popular techniques um, that a lot of my customers love. They love to see what's coming up next. First you're going to want to stamp uh, an entire sheet with a background or you can use a designer series paper also. So let's get started. Once you have your um, piece of paper that you want to cut to use for your one sheet wonder, you're going to stick it in your cutter um, in the landscape position. That's this position. And you're going to put your um, left side on the three inches and you're going to cut. Then you're going to slide over and your second piece is going to be at two and a half inches and you're going to cut. And that leaves you with a piece that's five and a half inches. Now you're going to take that first piece you cut and you're going to put it in your cutter and you're going to cut it three inches. And then you're going to take this one and you're going to put it in your cutter at one and a half. You're basically cutting it into two pieces so you have two pieces. So that's your first one. I will have this diagram that you can print out um, from my website www.stampstodiefor.com. This is not an actual true pattern. This is pretending that this is your 8.5 um, by 11 sheet. And you can see these are the first um, pieces in the puzzle. The first piece where you've cut A, B, and C. So now we're going to go to the next piece and we're going to take this piece here and we're going to put it in the cutter and we're only going to cut this one in half so we're going to just cut it at four and a quarter. I'm going to line it up there and we're just going to cut that one in two and then we have our last piece and we're going to put this in our cutter at eight inches and we're going to cut off just a little half inch strip then we're going to go and cut at six inches, so we'll have a two by five and a half inch piece, and at four inches. And so these are the piece, all the pieces we have now to put our cards to assemble all of our cards. So let's see how this all looks once we get it together. So our first card, our piece A which is on our sheet. I've used to decorate the this card and it's just tucked in there so that's piece number one, A. Uh, B I use to decorate the bottom of this card. And C, the, our square, is that piece right there. So that's A, B, and C. Now let's go on to D and E. So D is this piece here, and E I've decorated, I ran this through to give it a little texture and change the look a little, and that's the piece we have there. And F is our largest piece, and that's just stuck on this card in the center. Um, and G is on the side there. And H is another one on the side. And our last and final piece, F, is just on the inside of my card here to give it some little design. Now once in a while you notice this doesn't have any orange in. I might go in and add a little spot of orange there. Um, it's hard to tell as you're cutting it up, but sometimes you can go back and add a little piece. But this is a great... Um, design also to use with designer paper. Be sure and visit my website at www.stampstodiefor.com to download this week's Technique How-To The One Sheet Wonder. You will find all the measurements and supplies for all nine cards featured in the video. 
If you have missed any of the 52 weeks, you can find them all on the website under the video and free tutorial tab. I have some exciting videos planned for the coming months, so you won't want to miss them as the sharing and learning continues. If you need any Stampin' Up! supplies, please visit my website and click the Shop Now button. And don't forget, you can earn free hand-stamped cards that I've stamped myself when you shop with me. See my website for details. Have a great day, and happy stampin'. Hope to see you there.